Good morning, everyone. My name is Carlos Gomez, and I'm the head of growth for Waze in Europe. How many of you are Wazers right here? How big is the Finnish community? OK, guys, what's going on? Uh, we need to grow it. Um, so let me start um, saying here uh, what Waze is. So Waze, um, for those of you that are not using it today, are not part of our community, Waze is the largest community of drivers worldwide. We have over 50 million drivers today on the roads every day. And they are helping us. They are reporting everything that is going on on the road. That is traffic jams, that is accidents, that is police, that is speed uh, raiders. That's everything. So with that, what we've done is we created the, what we think one of the smartest of the smarter GPS navigator in the market that will help any driver save time every day. So in fact, our mission is a very quantifiable mission. It's saving drivers five minutes a day, every day. But we're here today to talk about smart traffic. And I want to tell you a few stories of how we are involving a few key players in the traffic, in the smart traffic conversation, and how we are impacting them to get ready for the future, right? And I think a key thing to say here is when we talk about smart traffic, it's not to solve today's problems, right? Smart traffic, we need to talk about it to get ready for and to catalyze for the future, right? And we don't know what the future of traffic is going to be like. But let me tell you, today traffic is dumb, right? It's not smart at all. This is a picture from China that maybe some of you have seen before. It's crazy how we spend hours on the road stuck in our cars every day. Again, that's not smart traffic. So we don't know what smart traffic or the future of traffic is going to be like. We have some ideas. Maybe it's going to be self-driving cars. That would be exciting. Or even more exciting, drones, right? What if we start moving not just packages, but people with drones, flying cars, even more exciting. But I, that's a little bit far away. So let me start today sharing, like, what are we doing today as ways? So we are impacting or talking with a few key, uh, different players. The first one is a community. So what we do is we empower the community, those 50 million active drivers we have today. We empower them by giving them the tools, giving them the space, and giving them the relevance so they can make an impact in the driving, in the smart traffic conversation. So we have a couple of different types of, um, of community members. We have some of you are passive contributors by just using the app. Some of them are active contributors by reporting stuff that is going on on the road. And some of them are going the extra mile and are being intensive or phenomenal contributors. These are people dedicating a few hours every day to edit the maps, to manage the forums, to train other users, and to literally create a better community. So this is a key aspect for us, because with this community 100% crowdsourced, we can, we can get better data, more complete data, more reliable data, and more real-time data. And the real-time piece is, is essential. This is a picture of some of our community members. We have over 350,000 map editors. Map editors are the top of the top of our community. We have them all over the world, and they're doing an amazing contribution. So first point, empowering the community to make an impact. The second is drivers, right? All of us, some of us are drivers, maybe not every day, but a few days a month, or maybe a few times per year. But we think it's smart traffic is not just about organizing the roads but making drivers safer, safer, savvier, and also happier. And how do we make that? Make that through a couple of different ways. Obviously, with Waze, you're going to save a lot of time on traffic. So just giving you the smartest route, the most efficient, fastest route at any time, that's great. You're saving time. But we also want to give you the safest options. And that means whenever there's a huge uh, weather hazard coming on to your city, we want to let you know so you are informed. If there's some initial traffic event, some major accident happening in front of you, we want to let you know. So you're informed, you're savvier, and you're safer, right? And that will definitely improve the, the roads overall. But also, driving is not just about being safe. It's also about having fun, enjoying the ride. And that's why, for those of you that are part of the Waste community, you know we are a fun community. We like to make things that will make your ride better. And as, as a matter of fact, we have created a couple of uh, voice navigations. This is one of the latest ones. Uh, I don't know if any of you pr uh, tested in, in July. We had Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator Voice. 
So if you were driving around with Waze, you could have Terminator guiding you to home or to work. And we will do a lot of different things with uh, Stephen Colbert, with uh, Neil Patrick Harris. And let me announce that next week, we are going to have a very, very big one. So I would totally uh, you know, download Waze now if you haven't yet, because we have a big, big voice coming up that I'm sure many of you are, are going to love. So that's uh, drivers, that's a community. But what about developers, right? How many of you here are developers? Wow, really? Only those of you? OK. I was expecting more of you. But anyway, I'm very happy today to announce one, um, one big announcement that we will launch in the next few weeks. That is the Waze SDK. And the reason we've done this is uh, in the last few years, as we will see today companies like Uber, Lyft, Instacart, 99 Taxi, CC Taxi, Halo, they're revolutionizing, revolutionizing the way we move, the way we move packages. And we at Waze, we wanted to help them optimize the last mile, which we identified as a key issue. So we are announcing the Waze SDK. It's going to be absolutely free. It's going to be available for all developers. So this is a big announcement for us. It's the first time we are allowing any developer in the transportation, on-demand delivery, or ride-sharing, car-sharing industry. We're allowing you guys to use seamless Waze, seamless navigation, smart routing, and precise CTA. So this is going to help any developer in any of these spaces optimize the last mile, allow you to do faster rides, allow you to deliver packages faster, allow you to have a much happier consumer that is getting stuff faster from you and more reliably. So this is a big announcement. We are, um, we are going to launch in a, in a few weeks. We are working now with a few partners for the launch. So if any of you are in this space, are excited, are interested, talk to me after the panel or shoot me an email. I'll be happy to share more details with you. Now, the final two ways we're involved in different players. First is broadcasters. As you know, broadcasters are the biggest player in delivering traffic news to the population, right? So we wanted to help them craft a new story around traffic so people can get aware of how relevant traffic is, not just on their daily basis, but uh, at an overall level. So we've done it in uh, creating the Ways for Broadcasters program. So if any of you are in the broadcast space, either TV or radio or web, web uh, broadcasting, we have a tool for you. And this tool will allow you to create something that uh, a lot of broadcasters are very excited, like crowd journalism, right? Like you can create your own broadcaster team within ways to have your own army of journalists that are sending you photos, sending you comments, sending you reports about what's going on in your region. So you can put that on your TV. You can put that on your radio. So we have already signed up over 100 broadcast partners, including CNN, Fox, ABC7, in over 15 countries. We are now starting to uh, close our first deals in Europe. So again, if you're a broadcaster, talk to me afterwards. We'll have amazing products for you. And finally, probably the, the most important player across uh, all cities, government agencies, anyone that is responsible to manage the roads, we want to help them build the real-time city. And the real-time city, it's a kind of city that is not built with bricks. It's actually built with bytes. And that's what we do for them. We share data with them. And, and you know, we have created this program called the Connected Citizen Program. It's a program we started last year in October. We launched with 10 partners. In less than a year, we already have over 55 partners. Cities like Los Angeles, Boston, Rio de Janeiro, Barcelona, many, many more. We're working with all of them through a data exchange agreement. So all the data we have from our community, we share with them so they can aggregate it, they can analyze it, and they can start working on much more innovative projects. A few of examples we've done so far. It's very early, but in this year, we've already, um, you know, when you work with the top innovative players worldwide, you get them to do amazing things. So ex examples like Boston, we are helping them get their emergency teams, get faster to the place they have to go through uh, sharing with them our, our traffic uh, routing, right? Or Los Angeles. This is a really interesting project where we are analyzing what is the rush hour, the commuting rush hour peak times. And with that, we are recommending them different timing so they can reduce the congestion at the peak hours, which is creating a lot of travel in a city like Los Angeles. Another example, and I think this is uh, one of the most exciting ones. This happened in Mexico just a few weeks ago. So you might have heard 
Hurricane Patricia was hitting the coast of Mexico, the emergency department from Mexico called Waze, and in less than 15 hours, we got our whole community using our tools to map out over 500 shelters across all Mexico and broadcasting that to all the users of Waze in Mexico, which is a huge community, so they could drive instantly to the shelters before the hurricane hit their region or their city. So this is just a brief example of how we can impact people, we can impact cities, and we can get ready for that real-time city. And I'm running out of time, so I just want to briefly touch on these were the five ways we are impacting uh, smart traffic today, but we're also thinking about the future. And Ride With, this is a pilot we are running now in Israel. Ride With is a carpool solution from the Waze community or powered by the Waze community. This is our program to allow daily commuters to share rides to carpool so they can drastically reduce their carpool footprint, they can reduce the time they spend on cars, they can decrease the gas, the amount of money they spend on gas. So this is just a pilot we're running now in Israel. Let's see how it goes. We don't know, but if things go well, we have a lot of partners excited about launching this in their city. So this is the future. So yeah, summing up, we're talking with the community. We are empowering the drivers. We are sharing with the developers through the SDK, broadcasting through broadcasters, and finally helping the cities build a real-time city. And what we see is like ways has created this amazing community, 50 million drivers and growing. And we have this amazing digital mapping platform. So we see ourselves in the middle of this personal transport and mobility revolution. We think we can play a key role by sharing and collaborating with many other organizations. And that's what we are. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Carlos. I think that there are lots of people who want to start with your SDK. I know I would like to do that. Share us one secret. How on earth will you make your money? Everything's for free. We actually monetize through advertising. So we have Waze develop our own advertising platform. We have Waze ads. That is, uh, what we think it's cool about these ads, they're geolocalized. So they actually add value because we show them to you when you're passing by that place or what you've been driving for two, three hours, we would think like you might be interested in stopping for some food, stopping for some gas. So we have our own dedicated ads platform. It's working very, very well. We are not focusing entirely on that. We want to grow the community, grow the product, make a much bigger solution for the driving community. But at the same time, we're monetizing through ads. All right. Thank you. Please have Thank a seat. You. For